think it's some time for some snowflakes. channel casualistic and uh, so today apologize for the chirping um chip is out uh, so she may make an appearance for those of you bird phobic i'm giving you a heads up she may not appear but i can't guarantee um she's got the hump with me because i've been out today so, <laughs> so she's been looked in a cage till just now so she she may be a bit chirpy so i apologize if it's a little bit distracting um anyway so today um we'll be sharing snowflake bunting it's only a little one um, I actually made this uh, last year um, and we hang it up uh, across the top of one of our bookcases in the living room. Um, so I've got five snowflakes, it's basically three different ones, one in the middle and then the, the two either side of that central one are the same and then the one either end are the same. So, um, it was all done using a 4mm hook. The yarn I used... Um, is a Mariner Double Knit Sparkle and the colour is C-001 and it's called Optic White there we go and it's as you can see it's got flecks of silver in it um, so uh, it's quite simple um, I've left a bit of the yarn at the end uh, just for tying up um, then I have a chain 10 snowflake and then there's chains of 20 between each snowflake and then at the end after the last snowflakes chain 10 and again a little bit of yarn to tie on to wherever I choose to put it so the snowflakes themselves um, one of them um, I can't find the tutorial on YouTube I am still trying to find it at the time of recording Oh dear, I apologise for the background noise. <laughs> um, so, I will try and find it, but I can't guarantee that I will. Um, but I thought you would like to see anyway, uh, regardless, because it might be that you'll be able to find it. So, the first snowflake, which is at the far end of um, each one, just to make sure I show you the right way around, are these two. There we go. Uh, now, this... Uh, pattern for these snowflakes are it's a two-year-old video on YouTube tutorial um, and it's called how to crochet snowflake and it's by expression fiber arts um, it is a little bit quick in the sense of it's not very well zoomed in at places so you need to really know what you're doing so she tells you what you're doing but you can't always see exactly so if you're if you're a very slow beginner then that wouldn't be for you it'd be for as you get a little bit more experience at least know what the stitches are um so i just about managed it and um, i did struggle last year i think i would have found it easy doing it this year but um, i did manage to do it um the second snowflakes uh which are these two there we go uh they are also called how to crochet a snowflake tutorial and that is by bella coco um, she is in the UK, she works in UK terminology but she does put the translation into American terminology um, and she's nice and clear and that was a tutorial that went up a year ago so it's a more recent one now the main one, which reminds me of the Star of David a little bit because it's actually got the six points um, I really love this, now this was a YouTube tutorial let's see if I can get it to focus um, and the tutorial for this was actually done by a man it was not Mikey of the crochet crowd for any of you sort of jump up and say I know who that is it wasn't the crochet crowd um, this guy he sort of did his kitchen table um, went supersonic fast and um, it wasn't the clearest video to, to follow um, but I just about managed to do it I had to pause it an awful lot but I really love how this one came out and I would love to be able to find this pattern again on YouTube and, and do it again because I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, as you can see it's a lot bigger as well. I wanted kind of a, a big, perhaps if I get it right way around doesn't it, um, a big sort of central 
one in comparison if you see that these these there you go you can see a size difference there um and i wanted something that was going to be big and sort of central in comparison um, and that has worked and i think it's absolutely beautiful um unfortunately i just can't I, i've been searching for about a week trying to find um the snowflake tutorial for it um it was there a year ago so whether the channel has been taken down i don't know um, I will try and continue to find it before I put this video up, but if, I, if there's no link for it in the description, I still haven't found it. So if you find it, um, and you think it might be the one, then please give me a shout and uh, put the link in the comments and I will go and have a look, because it would be really good to, to have it for all, all of you that perhaps are interested in making it. Um, but that's it. I, I have blocked it, believe it or not, but I think just because particularly with this one because of the weight of it it does have a tendency to curl it is actually better when it's up against something like a bookcase because then it's not it's not twizzling around quite so much and um, i have blocked it and i did use a little bit of starch but it's still not i think perhaps it might need some pva glue but i don't really like gluing them unless i have to um i like them to sort of stay where they are but i don't like them when they're like rigid um so yeah so that is uh my snowflake uh, bunting or banner or whatever you want to call it um, it's quite a short video but I just thought it was something different um, I know a lot of you liked the uh, Christmas tree bunting and I thought that might be something else that you would like to see um, I think this would look really pretty above a, a fireplace or you, you know a mantle or, or something um, but yeah pretty much anywhere would would be good um, so yeah I'm really pleased with that one I'm just gutted I can't find that tutorial but I will keep trying before I put this one up so fingers crossed um, so that's it for today um, the next video because uh, I've actually had to re-record this one uh, because my camera cut out part way through and didn't save the file uh, when I tried to record it yesterday uh, so I've got re -record, so I've had to re-record this one and I'm having to re-record the donkey and the sheep for the nativity so the next video will definitely be the donkey and the sheep and then after that, um, hopefully on Christmas Eve, you'll be seeing this guy here behind me. Ho, ho, ho. Um, and that will be the last video before Christmas. So you have this one, snow, uh, the snowflake one, which is this one, end of the nativity, and then this guy. And that will take us right up until Christmas. Um, and then after Christmas... Uh, I really don't know. I expect I shall probably, the first couple of videos, I'll probably be sharing some of the things that I've been sent for Christmas. Um, obviously, I'll be getting, I've um, received gifts from Amy, Sean, and Marie. Um, that's Marie, Nick Crochet Mad, Amy's Willy Word of Creations. <laughs> I had to think about that, sorry, Amy. And Sean's Crafty Corner. Um, we've all exchanged presents, um, some of which are, are craft related. Um, so I will probably be sharing that but um, I won't actually be putting a video up on Christmas Day uh, simply because I will be cooking Christmas dinner and uh, obviously things will be a little bit hectic um, and with my care and roll as well I just I don't think I'll have time so I don't want to make a promise I can't keep um, I may possibly go on Facebook and maybe do Facebook live on Christmas Day possibly in the evening um, so if you're not already following my Facebook page, Casalistic, then uh, the link is down in the description. Go along and follow me on there and I will try and do Facebook Live on Christmas Day because I know some of you are on your own. So I will try and, and do something. I just can't guarantee it because of my role. Um, so yeah, so uh, big day's almost here. Um, I've still got a couple of things to make but I'm almost there. Um, one of the videos that will come up after Christmas is of a pony that I have made for um, a little young five-year-old uh, that I know that was kind of demanding of me. Um, um, so I actually have given her her gift before Christmas because I wanted to see her open it because it took me two months to make. Um, I did record a video before I gave it to her so um, I will be sharing that immediately after Christmas. Um, it's, it's not a Christmassy pony. <laughs> Um, it's supposed to look like one of the My Little Ponies, um, but she, that's what she requested, but I'll explain more about that in the video. Um, so that will also be to come after Christmas. Um, yeah, and then it'll be New Year before we know it. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I'm rambling, so I'm going to stop. Um, so I hope you're doing okay. Uh, not long now. <laughs> Big day's almost here. 
Um, so I hope you're all well. Um, so remember, you know, to stay well or keep yourself well or get better if you're sick. <laughs> uh, happy crafting in the meantime and until next time, stay true to yourself. Bye.